Hello YouTubers, DIY Dan here, and my dream speakers have finally arrived. What you are looking at is a set of Bowers & Wilkins 802 Diamonds finished in beautiful gloss black lacquer. I know the video and the lighting in the basement doesn't do these speakers much justice, but these things are freaking sweet. To me, the 802 is the closest thing to sonic perfection that I can afford. These speakers sound absolutely amazing, and every moment with them is like having my own live concert in my basement. Obviously, I love these speakers, but let me show you what I don't love. How delicate these mother diamond tweeters are. Unfortunately, one of the diamond tweeters in my speakers arrived damaged. Thankfully, I purchased the speakers from a reputable dealer, and he sent me a new $1,100 tweeter at no cost to me right away. If you ever see a pair of these speakers for sale, and they are really cheap, more than likely the diamond tweeters are shattered. If you happen to be one of the unlucky audiophiles who has to fork over $1,100 for a new diamond tweeter, in return you should get a tiny box that looks like this. Inside this box is the new tweeter assembly. I know installing a new diamond tweeter may sound like a difficult proposition, but in reality it's quite easy. Let me show you. With the tweeter grill removed, loosen the rear tail clamp by turning it counterclockwise. With the tail clamp removed, grab the tweeter by the edges and carefully pull it out until the wires are exposed. The wires to the tweeter are zip tied to the metal tube and will only move so far forward. Now that the wires are exposed, remove the red and black leads to the tweeter. Since the wire leads for the tweeter are zip tied to the tweeter tube, this prevents you from being able to remove the tweeter. Since I didn't want to cut the zip tie that attaches these wires to the tube, I decided to remove the tweeter while it was still in the tweeter housing. I did this by holding the tweeter tube stationary and rotating the tweeter counterclockwise until it was removed like this. Before I could install my new tweeter, I had to remove the old isolator gasket which was stuck to the tweeter tube. To install the new tweeter, I held the tweeter tube stationary and carefully rotated the new tweeter clockwise until it stopped. Next, I connect the positive and negative speaker leads to their respective terminals. The tweeter will have a terminal that is painted red to indicate where the positive or red wire lead is installed. Once you have the speaker leads connected, grab the new tweeter by the edges and carefully push it into the tweeter housing. Next, tighten the rear tail clamp by rotating it clockwise until it stops. Lastly, don't forget to install the most important item, that tweeter grill. In my opinion, it's not worth the risk to have the tweeter grills removed for such an expensive and delicate tweeter. Now, let's test them out. Wow, what a difference. The speakers are back to sounding like new again. If you thought this video was helpful, make sure you hit the like button. I treat likes as votes on which topics I do next. If you need any help replacing your tweeter, make sure to leave your question in the comments section and I'll do my best to answer them. Good luck!